Good morning. Today's lesson is 2.12. Today we're going to solve multiple step problems using equations. Our essential question, how can you represent and solve multiple step problems using equations? Let's unlock the problem. Krasmari's computer has three hard drives with 64 gigabytes of space each and two hard drives with 16 gigabytes of space each. The files on our computer use 78 gigabytes of space. How much hard drive space does her computer have left? So let's underline the important information. Well, we know that she has three hard drives with 64 gigabytes. We know that two hard drives with 60, 16 gigabytes of space each, and that the files on her computer use 78 gigabytes of space. So how can we solve this? Well, one way is to find out how much hard, hard drive space is on three hard drives with 64 gigabytes of space. So in order to do that, we've got our three 64 gigabytes, right? But we don't know how much that is total space on three drives. So if we do three times the 64, we're going to get what n is. So let's do that right now. 64 times 3, hopefully remembered from last time. So we have 4 times 3, which is 12. I'm going to regroup my, my 1, or my 10, put my 1s down here, and then I have 6 times 3, which is 18, plus my 1, re one regrouped 10, so I have 19. So n equals 192. Now I'm going to find out how much space is on two hard drives with 16 gigabytes of space. So here's my two 16 gigabytes. We don't know how much that is total. So if I do 2 times 16, I'll be able to get how much that is total. So again, I'm going to do 16 times 2. So I've got 6 times 2, which is 12. I'm going to um, regroup my 10. And then I have 2 times 1 is 2, plus my 1 that I regrouped. So that's going to be 3. So P equals 32, or the total space on two hard drives with 16 gigabytes is 32. Finally, let's find out the total hard drives on the computer. So I've got my 192 for my, my 64 gigabytes, and then my 32 for my 16 gigabytes. And to find out the total space between them, I'm going to add them together. So 192 plus the 32, and those were the numbers that I got when I multiplied in the step one and step two. So this was step one and step two. So two plus two is four. Nine plus three is 12. Um, regroup my hundreds. So then 100 plus 100 is 200. So the answer is 224. Okay. Step four is, and that's for A. Step four is to um, the files that are used was 78 gigabytes of space. So in order to find out how much hard drive space we have the computer left, I'm going to have to find out why. We know that everything together was 224, and we know that 78 of it is used. We do not know how much of it is unused. So if I subtract 224, um, 78 from 224, I should get this Y or the um, use space. So let's try that. I can't take 8 from 4, so I'm going to have to regroup. And... Um, so this is now going to be 14, and this is going to be 1. I know that I'm not going to be able to, to do 1 from 7, so I'm going to regroup my hundreds. This is going to be 100, and I'm going to move the 10 of those hundreds over here to my tens place. So now I have 14 minus 8, which is 6, and I have 11 minus 7, which is 4, and then I have 1. So 148. Um, so Charisma has 148 gigabytes of hard space left on her computer because she's used 78 and 148 is left. We know that because the total hard space was 224. So another way we can do this is order of operations. And the order of operations is a special set of rules that gives order in which the calculations are done in an expression. So first, you multiply and divide from left to right. Then you add and subtract from left to right. So if 64 plus 64 plus 64 plus 16 plus 16 equals the total space on the computer, and we know that 78 is used, but we don't know this amount, what we can do is we can take 3 times 64, because there are three 64s, and then we can take 2 times 16, and we can put an addition symbol in between the two of them. So if we multiply this, multiply this, and then add them together, 
we would get the total space used on the computer, and then we would have to subtract the 78. So they've written that here. 3 times 64, and then they did the plus 2 times 16 minus the 78, and then that should give us our final answer. So now we're going to do an order of operations. So we multiply first from left to right. So my first problem is 3 times 64. So 64 times 3. 3 times 4 is 12. I'm going to put my... I'm going to put my, uh, regroup my 110 there, and then I have 3 times 6, which is 18, plus my 1 regrouped 1 is 19. So right here I've got 192. Notice that my plus symbol is going to just go straight down. Okay, and then I'm going to bring down my next one, which is we've got our 2 here. We're going to keep bringing it down, and then we've got our time signal that came down, our 16, our minus 78. Okay, so we're going to keep the equation the same. Now we are doing 2 times 16. So wait, let me bring down my 192. And now I've got 2 times 16. So 16 times 2. 6 times 2 is 12. Regroup my 1. 2 times 1 is 2. Um, plus my, my 10 that I regrouped is 3. So I'm going to get 32. I'm going to bring down my 78. Now I'm going to I'm going to add and subtract from left to right. So 192 minus 32, or I'm sorry, 192 plus 32. So 192 plus 32 I get 4 12 regroup my uh, 1 or my 10. And 1 and 1 is 2. So this is going to be 224 and I'm going to bring down my 78. Now I'm going to minus the 224 minus 78. I'm going to have to regroup, so this is going to be 14. This is going to be 110. I can't take 110 from 7, so I'm going to regroup all the way back here. So I'm going to have 14 from 8, which is 6, 11 from 7, which is 4, and whoops, and then I have my 7 there, so the answer is 746. Same answer as I got before, but we just did it with order of operations. Okay, so again, I'm supposed to do multiply and divide from left to right, and then I do add and subtract from left to right. Now if the subtract comes first, it comes first, but it's I do these two things first and these two things first. They are interchangeable. So first I've got 5 times 17, so 17 times 5. 5 times 7 is 35, regroup my three tens. 5 times 1 is 5, plus my three tens that I regrouped is 8. So I'm going to get 85, and then I'm going to bring down my 5, bring down my 20, bring down my minus 32. Okay, so now I'm going to bring down my 85, and now I'm doing 5 times 20. Can you give me some eraser board here? So I've got 20 times 5, 5 times 0 is 0, 5 times um, 2 is 10, so that's 100. Bring down my minus 32. So now, um, now I'm going from left to or uh, from left to right for my addition and subtraction. So I have 100 plus um, 85 plus 100, which is 185. Bring down my 32, and now I'm going to minus 185 minus 32. 185 minus 32. Five from two is three. Eight from three is five, and then I have my one. So the answer is 153. Okay, there's not a whole lot of room to do my steps here, but I'm going to try. So we've got 3 times 22, that's going to be the first thing I do. So I've got 22 times 3, 3 times 3 is 6, 3 times 3 is 6. So this is 66 plus, now I have 7 times 41 minus 24 equals N. So now I'm going to do um, 7 times 41. So 41 times 7. 7 times 1 is 7, 7 times 4 is 28. I'm actually going to erase this right here to make this easier for me. So now I have 28 because that's what this was together, right? Or 287, sorry, minus 24. So now I'm doing 66 plus 287. So 287 plus 66. 6 plus 7 is 13. Um, 8 plus 1 is 9. Plus 6 is 15. I'm going to have to put my, um, regroup my, my 100. And then I have 2 plus 1 is 3. So 358. So this right here, these two numbers right here, I'm just going to erase them just because it's going to be easier for me to write. You need to write them underneath, but 
is going to be 358 minus the 24. So I'm going to minus the 24. I can't take um, the 4 from 3. So this is, I'm going to have to regroup. This is going to be 13, and this is going to be 4. So 13 from 4 is 9, and 4 from 2 is 2, and then I'm my 3. So my answer should be 329N. I know that was a lot, so let me do a couple more. All right, we're going to do... Okay, I kind of blew up this one because I think it might be easier for me to write it on the side. Um, okay, so first... I do my multiplication. So I've got 4 times 34. 34 times 4. So I have 4 times 4, which is 16. I'm going to regroup my 10. And then I have 4 times 3, which is 12, plus the 1 is 13. So this is 136. I'm going to keep my plus symbol. I'm going to go ahead and just do the multiplication on this side. Keep my minus and my 66 equals n. So now I have... 40 times 6. So 6 times 0 is 0, and then 6 times 4 is 24. So I'm going to write 2, 4, 0 there. Okay, now I'm going to add together my 136 and my 240. So 240 plus 136. I get 6 plus 0 is 6. 4 plus 3 is 7. 2 plus 1 is 3. So now I get 376 minus the 66 right there equals N. So 376 minus 66, 6 from 6 is 0, 7 from 6 is 1, and then 3. So my answer is 310N, okay? All right, I'm going to do a couple more with you. So first I do my multiplication, so I have three, 2 times 62, so 62 times 2, uh, 2 times 2 is 4, and then I've got 2 times 6, which is 12. So we've got 124 plus what this is multiplied. So we've got 22 times 8. Oops. So 8 times 2 is 16. I'm going to regroup my 110. And then I have 8 times 2, which is 16, plus my regrouped 1 is 17. So I have 176, and then it's minus 53 equals N. So now I'm going to do my 124 plus my 76. So 124 plus my 176. We have 6 plus 4 is 10. 7 plus 1 is 8, plus the 2 is 10, and then 1, 2, 3. So we've got 300 minus 53 equals N. So now 300 minus 53. So I can't take the 0 from 3, so I'm going to have to um, regroup. But next door, there's nothing to regroup. So I'm going to have to go all the way, and I'm going to regroup from here. Um, this is going to end up being a 9 because I had to regroup from it. It would have been a 10, but then I cross it out. Now it's going to be 9 ones because I have to take them over here. This is going to be 10. So 10 minus 3 is 7, 9 minus 5 is 4, and 2. So the answer is 247, and that's what N is. All right, I'm actually going to have you do problem number 5 on your own. I want you to watch the Math on the Spot video, and I want you to do problem number 11. Okay, so you're going to go to Think Central, watch the Math on the Spot video, and complete this problem, okay, this whole problem right here. All right, I will be on the carpet if you need me. Um, you can also choose to work with a partner, okay? Good luck.